Hi everyone, CNX Soft here. This is Transmart AW80 Draco, or rather Transmart Draco AW80 Android TV box powered by Allwinner A80 octa-core processor. So one interesting thing about this processor is using uh, big little technology. And it has four Cortex A7 little cores on four Cortex A15 big cores that provide more performance and uh, to test to see the course in real time you can use a tool by imagination technology called PVR monitor it will show the live CPU usage of all the eight cores in on the top left or top right depending how you configure it I put it in the top right and you also have total pixel and total vertex for the GPU usage but for some reason it doesn't work at all today even though all winner 80 is using a power vr gpu all right so let's let's have a look uh, starting with antutu benchmark okay i forgot to say the Course 0, 1, 2, 3 here are Cortex F15 and the core 4, 5, 6, 7 are Cortex S7. Now we are in the single thread integer performance test on the single Cortex F15 course core is used. So that's what should be expected. Now we switch to floating point performance, single thread, one Cortex A15 core, and the Cortex A7 is doing some background tasks, maybe, or just updating the display. CPU integer performance, this is a multi-thread test and all eight cores are used at the same time. The four Cortex A15 and the four Cortex A7. Sometimes you will drop, I guess it's because N22 has different kind of integer performance test maybe. Only four cores now. Why? I don't know. Now we switch to floating point performance, multi-thread, again 8 cores. Still floating point. Run performance for some reasons is also using eight cores. I didn't really expect this. But I guess it's good maybe. And uh, now RAM speed. Oh, the RM speed was very fast, uh, only one car, and now multitask performance. So it's also mostly using Cortex A15 here to apparently handle two or three tasks at the same time. And later you will handle eight tasks using all cores. Alright, now database 
One Cortex at 15 core. Storage I.O. same. 2D graphics is not CPU intensive so it's, it has switched to a Cortex A7 core. And sometimes the Cortex A15 cores wake up for a short time to do something. Three D graphics. We load the benchmark Cortex A15. We run the benchmark. One Cortex A15, one Cortex A7. And now mostly Cortex A7 to place to to display three D graphics. Mm, sometimes it will switch to Cortex A15 too. Oh, yeah. This test uses two cores, one A15, one A7, most of the time. All right, that's complete. So let's try some real applications. I will use the web browser first. Ah, okay, I, I opened a few tabs before. I will close them. So Cortex the 15 cores are pretty easy. Okay, I cannot open anymore, I don't know what Okay, this is annoying. Alright. Okay, so this is still loading. Um, two or three Cortex A15 cores are busy rendering the page. So now everything is loaded and I'm not doing anything. Ah, no, not yet. <laughs> yes, there's still some... Okay, I guess everything is mostly loaded. Or maybe some background JavaScript or something. So the score up is still a little busy. So let's try scroll a bit so when we scroll there's not much change with the CPU cores but it's not it's certainly not using the 8 cores when browsing mostly 4 cores okay maybe I will play a game So to load the game, one Cortex A15 core, two, sometimes two, sometimes three. Okay, let's, let's play a very short time. So this game is using three cores and is not very CPU intensive, uh, sometimes two cores. Okay. I'll stop there. So that shows all we know A80 is a true uh, Cortex, a true octa core processor. Uh, and it can use 
eight cores simultaneously, and it can the granularity of the cores. Uh, a single single core can be activated or deactivated individually. And most of the time, in normal tasks, one, two, or three cores are used. All right, that's all for today. Bye bye.